Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for watching. For today's video, we're going to show you how we made a ripple table without a CNC. So of course you can make this with the CNC if you have one, it's not that hard to do. But if you don't, I'm going to show you a way you can do it. It takes a little longer, but you can do this without a CNC, but you will need this. I'm going to link that in the description down below. And if you want the plans to this, including all the measurements and how I built this, I'll have a link down below. Thanks for watching. Thank you for the support. Let's get started. All right, guys, I will say before we get started, I'm going to switch out to the point, point round over bit. This is not a beginner friendly build if you are not comfortable using a router. So one of the reasons I have kind of stayed away from something like this is because to, to use this, you got to cut full depth. Right? It can be dangerous if you don't have experience with this because uh, routers are mainly meant use, used to be cutting like a little bit at a time. Like you don't really run router through a whole thing. You can, people do it, they do it all the time. They hang off of the side of a house and use a router to cut out a window. So you can, but those people are pretty experienced and they understand the tool. And it, uh, my channel is geared towards beginners. So that's one of the reasons I've kind of, I haven't shown this tool. So I will let you know, yes, you, you can use this and you, you can cut through it. And that's what we're gonna do here. But that's if you're um, pretty experienced with the router. If you use the router before, you understand it. You just have to have some type of experience with it. It's not like, go buy a router and do this. I don't recommend that if you don't already um, use the router and have an idea of it. So definitely uh, be safe. Work within your experience and your limits, but also continually learn. So if this is your first bit you ever use, I do not recommend doing this. Uh, have someone help you, have someone with some experience and understand how this tool works. Uh, definitely be safe, that's number one thing. I also forgot the number one rule we're cutting MDF, uh, it has some type of chemical in it, it's not to breathe in, and when you cut it, it's not great. So uh, definitely use a mask when you're doing this. Do not cut this um, without wearing a mask. It's just not good to breathe in. And especially since we're gonna do a lot of cutting and routing. So it looks beautiful once you cut it because unlike plywood, it doesn't have all those layers, but it has some, I think it's, I don't want to say something wrong what it has in there, but I, I know it does have something that you're not supposed to be breathing in. And so I rather not, I don't know if that's true of all MDF. So I'm just going to treat MDF as it's all like that, if that makes sense. So, so I have something to guide the router against to make sure I'm cutting straight lines. Very important. I'm going to just uh, use a two by four and just kind of use two clamps on each side and scoot down each one as I go. All right. So let me show you, you're going to want it flush. You see that right there? That's exactly what you want. Okay. You don't want these really poking out. It should be even. There we go. We're just going to find the line. We're going to clamp this down. Make sure we're even on the whole long whole thing. Clamp that side down. And then we're going to run it. That was a lot. So, not gonna lie, since we're we're not using a CNC machine, we're the machine. So, that took maybe about, I took about four breaks, so it was probably about two hours. 
Uh, one of the main reasons because I'm using the router I'm using it's not meant for taking out so much material at like with one pass it's not so it kind of um, it gets hot for a while so you'll see me I was kind of blowing air in it because I wanted to try to keep using it but I also understood that I got to take breaks with it there's another if you're using a, a wired powered router or the larger routers they're more expensive like this one I think I paid like I don't know $49 on uh, on a sale but uh, it's definitely a beginner friendly but if you're using a more powerful router especially a plug-in one the one I have I think the other one I have uh, was like over $300 or something like that it can definitely handle this a lot more and you can kind of just boom 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 knock it all out but if you're using just like a smaller battery powered router uh, definitely recommend taking breaks to let the router cool down uh, that was about two hours but if not it would have probably been maybe about an hour if I just went straight through with a regular um, wire powered router so you'll see I'll show you right now with this so with the distance that I have in the plans for this you're going to um, you'll have a little top that has like a little extra I'll show you right now and that's meant to be sanded down because if you put that bit too close together that um that ripple will be like pretty skinny and it just doesn't look right because they'll like overlap so I kind of make it where there's like a little gap in between and then you just go with a little sander to sand it like a little roundish I'll show you right now you see this it's just to make sure um, we have a good little loop but um, we're just gonna come with the sander and take this off it's very light so just gonna pass the sander make sure it's rounded over and it'll look like a rope again we're sanding so I'm gonna use my mask safety first hey guys we're back it's another day I took a break because uh, I got to the next step and I got aggressive trying to fold it as soon as I got it and I started to feel a little bit wanting to crack and I was like, ah, I don't want to redo this. So uh, I, I um, let it rest in my truck at an angle to kind of give a little bit of slant and then probably for a little while I've had it set like this just so you can see, you see the bend? I don't know if you see it right here. Like I was bending it pretty good and then for the edges I was like, I just pushed it in too much and it cracked and I was like, oh no, I don't want to recut this. So um, I took a break. I've left it like this. It slants pretty easily. It's just kind of molding it. So definitely I would, don't be aggressive as soon as you cut it. Let it, uh, kind of let it relax. Uh, put it at a slight angle, not a steep angle, just a slight angle for a little while. Um, it's the next day and um, we're going to try to wrap it. So never wrapped this before. We're going to go slow. If you have two people, definitely a lot better. I wish I had a second person to kind of hold it and I can just kind of roll it around and just tack it in. Seems super easy. I don't. I got some zip ties here. If I had some string, I would probably use that instead. But um, we're just going to see how it goes. Now we're just gonna get some wood filler, fill in the holes and we're done. <laughs> Man, if I had a second person, this would have been so much easier. So definitely two people. All right, just finished putting wood filler. If you're curious, um, this is definitely the one I recommend. I, I use the most uh, Min Minwax wood filler. Uh, they sell it at Lowe's, not Home Depot, but man, this is the best by far. All I'm gonna do, light sand, top and bottom, and we're done. Well, it helped me. Uh, so for this one, it's gonna be a little different. If you want the plans for all the measurements and everything, like how I made this exactly, I'm gonna link that down below. It'll have a lot of the measurements, but it'll also include a longer video showing step-by-step -step on this. I know I used to create long detailed plans, but for right now, I'm not able to do that. I actually got carpal tunnel in my hand from using the mouse and typing so much. Those plans would take so much time to create, weeks to months to create like 30 page step-by-step very detailed everything um for now i'm not able to do that uh, just because my wrist it's very painful i'm just gonna put a lot more detail in the full length video for the plans so if you want the plans are gonna be linked down below again it'll have like the measurements how far how much how tall everything 
and um, definitely supports what we do. And most of the, that will be in a form of a longer video of me actually making this. So definitely want to thank those who continue to support. If you're a subscriber, I definitely appreciate you. And if you want to become a channel member, definitely link down below. I'm adding more content all the time. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.